welcome to Rocket Rose. We're going to do another um, book review in our um, book review series, motorcycle books, of course. And um, hopefully you have um, seen some of our other book reviews in the series. You may recall just recently we reviews, re released the 2020 Africa Twin Owner's Manual. It's more of a generic um, overview of owner, owner man, owner's manuals and the um, fact that most people don't take the time to read them and all the valuable information that you can pull from them. You may also recall that last year we covered the um, Haynes Service and Repair Manual. We used the um, um, repair manual for the Honda CB500X as an example. And, you know, we went through, you know, again, how you could use that manual um, to service your motorcycle. Um, I think I covered the Essential Guide for Motorcycle Maintenance, which I, I, I love this book. And um, get a better look at it. There you go. And um, again, this book was great for, um, is a guide for maintaining any generic motorcycle. It wasn't focused on any one particular type of bike, so it covered a lot of different um, things, like it covered two-cylinder, four-cylinder, two-stroke, four-stroke, um, um, which was very handy. We didn't get to this one yet, but I am going to cover this uh, Modern Motorcycle Technology book by Edward Abdo. Um, this was actually a textbook in the me mechanics course that I took at the um, local community college. Shout out to PG Community College. And I can't shout them out without shouting out my alma mater, alma mater, University of Maryland College Park. And then I might as well do the George Washington University. And while I'm there, let's um, shout out to the Southern Jaguars. Now, back to motorcycles. Um, but today, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about the Honda Service Manual. And this is the manual that if you go to your Honda, Honda dealer, your service, the service shop, they're using this manual. And they're referring to um, all the information they need to service a motorcycle from the service manual. I like, as you can tell, I like to have a service manual for any bike that I ride. I like, you know, I definitely want to have the owner's manual. I definitely want to have the service manual. If I can't, you know, if I get a bike and I don't um, have the owner's manual, I'm going to go online and find it. I like to have them both in um, hard copy and soft copy. So I like to, you know, put the PDFs on my phone and that way, you know, if I'm ever out in the street and I need some information, I can just go pull up the PDF and look up what I need to look up. So, service manual, let's talk about it for a little bit. First thing, chapters one, two, and three, they pretty much apply to the whole motorcycle. So they're gonna give you information like um, specifications, you know, general, general information about the bike, how to remove fairings and some of the other parts so that you can actually get to the mechanicals up underneath. Um, a lot of that basic instruction that you're gonna need in order to execute the um, things that are described in the other sections. The other sections, 4 through 22, 18 sections, and each section from 4 to 22 actually covers a different part of the bike. So um, whether it's covering, for example, um, the exhaust system or um, the fuel injection system or let's see here, the alternator, starter, the clutch, camshaft, uh, let's see, if you have it, the dual clutch transmission, the trend, you know, transmission, uh, let's see, front wheel, suspension, steering, rear wheel, suspension, you guys are getting the whole synopsis right here, analog brake system, all these things are in here, the hydraulic brakes, so, you know, the service manual covers the bike from end to end, um, basically, they're also going to give you some basic service rules for your for this particular motorcycle. They're going to give you some abbreviations in the beginning. Um, the service, man service manual does assume you know some things. Unlike I shouldn't have thrown it. Unlike the owner's manual, which operates like you never it, it reads like you've never been on a motorcycle before. I mean, literally start out with you know um, always wear a helmet before riding. Perform all routine, you know, inspections before you get on. Stop the engine. Do not do this. You know, make it, you know, how to dress, you know, how to park. You know, all the basic stuff that you need is in the owner's manual. The service manual is assuming that you're a service mechanic and probably a service mechanic with a few years experience and probably a service mechanic 
experienced in a particular model or that service manual. Now, no, that's not me, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to still get the book and read it and learn a whole lot from it. I'll tell you, I paid $60 for this service manual. Um, compared to the Haynes book for the CD500X, which was $25, it's a little bit more pricey. But have you ever paid for an hour of labor at your local uh, motorcycle dealer? Just find one thing in the service manual that you can do yourself, and you will have paid for the service manual itself. So there's my advice to you on that one. Um, it's really good for, yeah, repairs, but even more so for um, adding accessories. Um, sometimes for certain accessories, you need to remove different panels and things like that on the motorcycle. You have to remove certain parts. You may need to remove a handlebars or, you know, um, take off, you know, remove the brakes or remove the headers and, um, and then reinstall them in order to add the bolt-on parts, whether it be a skid plate or, you know, you know, new, new foot pedals, um, calipers for your, you know, for, for, your, for your brakes and your clutch. You may want to put some, um, some heated hand grips on there. And so, again, the service manual just comes in handy to help you to um, do those types of things. One of the things that's in the service manual, which, you know, I think is just really cool, not that I actually really have used these yet, are the wiring diagrams. So, you know, electronic scares everybody. Um, I don't have my, um, I don't have my stuff nearby. But um, the electronics typically scares people. And having the wiring diagrams, if you sit there, you know, lay them out, study them, it may assist you before you take on some of those types of tasks. But, you know, at the end of the day, I strongly encourage you, go to the, and don't confuse Haynes and Helms. Haynes is the $25 um, book that you sometimes find off the shelf. Definitely for automobiles, you can go to like any local O'Reilly's or AutoZone and, and pick up Haynes manuals for your car. You don't really see Haynes manuals for motorcycles just sitting around in the, in the stores, but you can definitely go online and order them for mini bikes. And they're typically available for used bikes. Service manuals, on the other hand, they come out as the bikes come out. But you need to go, the company is called Helms, I believe it's a German-based company. You can order your service manual for them. It doesn't take that long to come. And again, like I said, for 60 bucks, you know, that's that's a half hour of labor, at least around here for, for our dealers. So um, definitely, you know, I want you to continue to, you know, check out some of the other videos we've made for some of the other book reviews. I just ran through a few of those books. That wasn't all. Um, just in case you're curious. We've also done a review on Total Control. We've done a review on Twisted the Wrist. Um, I think we used Twisted the Wrist 2 for that. And we did a review on one of my favorite books. I'm looking over at the books. One of my favorite books, which is Proficient Motorcycling by um, David Huff. So, you know, these are great books. The reviews are usually pretty short. This might be one of the longer ones. And um, they give you good background information before you commit to actually purchasing the, the books or if you, you know, and hopefully, you know, you'll read them. I love to read about motorcycles. I watch plenty of the YouTube videos. Um, sometimes I'm watching the video as I'm filming these things. All right. So tell you what, I'm about to go and put my gear on and go for a little quick ride around the neighborhood. It's getting a little, it's, it's, it's decent outside. I think it's in the forties. We're going to have a great warm week this week. So you guys, if you get a chance to ride, and I know what part of the country you're in. I'm in the U.S. and I'm in I'm in, I'm in Maryland, the Washington D.C. area. We're going to get up into the 60s, maybe and hit 70 this week. And, you know, that's riding weather. You know, March, April, May to me are some of the best months for riding. And then I like, you know, um, yeah, September's okay, but October, November, those are some of the best months for riding to me. And it's not too hot and humid. It's not too freezing cold. You could definitely wear wear your gear, which you know I wear I wear gear all the time, but. You know, you, you might be more encouraged to do so. So having said all of that, um, Rocket Rolls over and out. Stop. What the heck? Did none of that get recorded? You got to be kidding. I didn't record any of that. Ain't this some crap. I'm not going back around the block yet. Let me play with this first. <laughs>